down at the bottom. That's for people who are camping. They have trailers you can't get up here. They have a trailer there or they can use urban car to get our campsite, camp down there and then drive their car out there without the trailers. Okay guys, we're going home. See you strangers later. Just driving out of the lot. The five miles per hour pop ups. <laughs> Hello, kind of slow. The school is 15. I don't know why it's five. Excuse me, are we broken? There we go. See you guys later in the next week. Cardwell, there's a great big hole on the yeah, you've seen it before because you grew up around the area. There's a great big hole back here about two miles. It was a lime quarry. A guy named Dan Morrison, he and his men used to take the lime and gypsum to the Butte mines for smeltering purposes. He and, I'm just trying to find a belt loop here. There we go. Uh, he and his men hauled lumber up here and built the first 2,000 wooden steps into the, into the cave, okay? Uh, became federal property for a while in the early 1900s. They gave it back to you know, uh, Montana in about 1935. It became our first state park. That's when things really got rolling. Um, yeah, the last, let's see, they did, uh, for about 15 years, they, they made it so that the trail up through and back hasn't changed much in the last 65 years, but we're always doing things up here to Make it a nicer place for our guests, which are you folks. A okay. little bit of geography. This is Cave Mountain that we're on.
hint. Uh, wooden steps were built across the district early in the beginning. And we're going to stop at the landing right after the hint. Enjoy the walk. It's a hint. Here we go. Let's, let's get a hint of that in the room. In Ennis, right? Yes. Good. Hey, Papa, remember that story that, like, somebody was really mysterious and he fell off into there and died? staircase from the bottom of the pin upward, 90 feet. People would go down those steps, go in and explore and discover for a while, eventually come back up those stairs and go back out the entrance as the exit. You can see the metal thing right there that held the steps up at the top there. It's kind of an anchor for the steps. It's a moose. Something in front of me. Oh, that's cool. This is 
carry the calcite to deposit it as the speleothem or cave formations we're seeing today. All four ingredients were met. Calcite was deposited in three main ways, dripping off the ceiling, flowing down the upper side of an incline or slope like a, a mountain or a hill, or the underside like a ceiling down along the wall. And also, sometimes the calcite would seep or ooze upward and or outward, calcifying or hardening right away, defying gravity one drop at a time. Dripping, flowing, and seeping. So while you're taking flash pictures, I'm going to start talking about these. When they calcify or harden, we add the word stone to it. So we're going to start out with dripstone. Bug Bunny's character. One group just came, the group that walked up the hill, they're, they're behind us, right? Water flow in waterfalls. Canopies of waterfalls, I'll tell you about the uh, underside of Glowstone in the next room. What we're going to do is, when we go into the next room, let me tell you when, when I do give you the go ahead, make sure you use the handrails. The stairs are very slippery, very slippery. All right? But take a look up here first to see a young couple. He's kind of tall. She's medium height. There's a guardrail. Take a good look at him and go ahead on down into the next room. What about that young couple? Well, they just turned 22 years old today. They just graduated from college and they just got married. They're standing up here in one of Montana's mountains looking down over one of Montana's valleys. They're saying themselves we're 22 years old today. What will life be like for us in 50 years from today when we turn 72 years old? Well, there's a young man who came out to Montana from Minnesota, 1946, to become a radio announcer. And he loved it out here. But the radio corporation said he had a squeaky voice. They said he'd be better at sales. They sent him to Chicago. Little did they know he'd become a very famous new time newsman. And in his memory in this next room, I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. The rest of the story. <laughs> the horror story, the horror oh, story. Oh, Harvey. Their stoop shoulder, they grade. Uh, and yet they're still very young at heart. They've come back to that same Montana overlook. It's become a very popular snowboarding hill. She sits on a sled, he stands on the runners behind. Watch the shadows, and I'll take them for a short winter ride. <laughs> and now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> Some of the tour guides <laughs> like to uh, talk about Romeo and Juliet. Eh, they're rocking back and forth up on the cliff. Uh, they're pondering their fate. Uh, they can tell that story if they want. It's just not my story. I taught grade school for... Amazing! Oh god, that was plowing. Or sure that's like about something that they have to do. And guess what? She finished the tour! Yeah! Now we're gonna get to buy a bike group, so you get a bite to eat. And then, watch the big show, which is over there. It's like, over there. A little shed for guys enjoy. So, uh, I think this, I guess, we're still walking. Those people are really, really the test. Well, I call that the Freddy face because I've been on this before, but I call it, I don't call it the Freddy face. I don't call it on the happy face. Tour. That's incredible, man. So, Papa, how was the tour? Good. I'll tell Kelly that uh, I got her coloring book for her. Okay. Isn't something amazing? 
I thought of this trip. Like, I had it in a purse. Didn't take it out once. Didn't need to. Didn't lose it. And I got a... Hey puppy, you know those Polaroid cameras that like let you have the picture but like they had to sit out or something? Mm -hmm. I really want one of those cameras, you can get one for 45. Mm -hmm. The gift shop. How do you guys were the gift shop? Surprisingly. Where is that shirt? Where is that shirt? Right here. There it is. Right here. Okay, guys, we're going home. See you, strangers, later. This is a video of us just driving out of the lot. At five miles per hour pop ups. <laughs> Hello, kind of slow. The school is 15. I don't know why it's 5. Shoes are we broken? There we go. See you guys up in the next video.